Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, we'll be doing the review for the iPhone XR and I have been using this uh, smartphone for about nine days uh, now. And guys, I'll also be uh, referencing this iPhone uh, tennis max uh, because i've used that also so i'll make be making some references and uh, let me quickly divide it between the pros and cons what i feel about this first let's talk about the pros with this one and guys i've used all the iphones uh, i would say this is the iphone 10s this is the 10r and this is the 10s max and as you can see i feel in terms of size screen size this 10r is the ideal screen it's neither too big nor small this 10R has a 6.1 inch uh, screen, whereas the uh, 10S Max has a 6.5 inch screen. Uh, I showed it to a lot of people and they said that this was uh, the ideal uh, screen size. And after using a lot of phones, uh, these all these three iPhones, I felt, yeah, this one had a better screen ratio. The iPhone XS uh, with a 5.8 inch screen uh, felt a little bit small. And this was the ideal screen size. So in terms of screen size, I feel the 6.1 inch screen is ideal. Still, it's a sort of a two-handed device at times, but yeah, you can use it with a single hand. That I can't say for the Max. Max is definitely a two-handed device. Uh, but yeah, it comes with the IPS LCD screen. It is not having the AMOLED screen that is used on the 10s and the 10s Max. So that is something you have to note. And also in terms of screen resolution, the 10s Max is having a higher resolution screen. But side by side, if you just look at these two phones, I feel uh, the screen quality on this one is also not uh, bad at all. And I didn't uh, have any issues regarding the screen quality. Uh, this also gets a very bright in outdoor lighting conditions and direct sunlight. I had no issues. Uh, now coming to the build quality, uh, it's typical old iPhones. Uh, it has that aluminum build quality and uh, this is the white color. That's why we have the silver border around this. The other one match those in colors. So it's like the old iPhones in terms of build quality. They, it's the aluminum build and in respect to build quality I have no problems even with this now coming to another thing is that in if you uh, look at the technical specs of these two the uh, 10s or the 10s max uh, uh, with the 10r this one actually has one gigabyte of ram less this has three gigabytes of ram whereas these others one have four gigabytes but in my day-to-day -day usage in about eight nine days i never had any issues of ram management with this one everything is fine and even with that three gigabytes of ram it's able to handle everything you throw on it fine so in terms of performance i had no issues also as it's having the a12 bionic chip in terms of performance no issues whatsoever it's smooth everything just opens in a jiffy it's actually very powerful uh, uh, now i like the fact that it still retained the stereo speakers just like the elder uh, iphone 10s max and the 10s so no issues regarding that the speaker quality is very good very loud i took a lot of calls while speaker phone i had no issues now moving to cellular call quality i mostly tested this with airtel here in hyderabad and i had no issues regarding the cellular call quality also uh, and now moving to the uh, glass prediction on this one apple says that the front glass on the screen is the same as the 10s and the 10s max uh, whereas the rear uh, or what do you say glass is slightly different and i believe apple because accidentally while i was testing the phone as you can see with this uh, clip as you saw i actually dropped it and it fell down on the screen like this on a concrete floor it was uh, and again it survived no issues so again i believe that the glass quality is good but again just like the iphone 10s max get a screen protector because what i have noticed is the screen though it might not shatter can get scratches easily so that is something you have to note and now moving to the camera which might be a very important point and i'm happy to say that the camera performance on this one is actually really good it's the same camera module that is used on the bigger brothers uh, it's just a single camera though that second camera that is the 2x zoom for telephoto is not there but the the main camera is the same 12 megapixel it has optical image stabilization and here as you can see with the sample shots i also showed the sample shot in my unboxing video regarding camera performance i have no issues with this one even with the single camera i was surprised that the portrait effect was very good on this one iphone 10r so in terms of camera i would say even with the single camera performance it was doing a very good job and yes it also has some lighting effects as you can see but not all compared to the iphone 10s max now moving to the front facing camera it's the same front facing camera that we find on the iphone 10s uh, max and the iphone 10 uh, s it's a 7 megapixel and because it has that depth sensor you get all the effects uh, that you get even with the uh, elder uh, what do you say the premium uh, 10s uh, variant so in terms of front facing camera it's the same performance you're getting again i would say in terms of front facing camera i feel some of the android phones are doing a better job but here uh, 
it's a big improvement compared to earlier iPhones, I would say. And also this one also has the second generation of Face ID and hence it's actually pretty fast and I never had an issue of it. You just press like this and you just slide and it unlocks. So uh, these were the good things about this. And yes, also this one has wireless charging just like this one. So you don't have to worry. And also water resistance. Now moving to the cons of what I liked about it. And these cons are almost exactly similar to the cons that I had with these elder uh, 10s Max and the 10s. And uh, but one uh, unique thing for this one is that Considering the price point of this one, it's certainly not a budget or a mid-range uh, phone. Apple is certainly charging quite a bit of premium for this one. And still, uh, it's having that 6.1 inch screen. I like the screen size, but in terms of resolution, it's still not very high resolution. They should have given at least a full HD uh, plus screen on it. It's actually slightly more than 720p. It's actually a 820p-ish uh, uh, screen. So in that respect, I'm slightly disappointed considering the price point. In terms of screen quality, the screen quality is good. I had no issues with it. But again, considering the price point we are paying, I feel they should have gone with the full HD plus on this one. Also, uh, regular problems with iPhone that we get in the box. The charger supplied is a very slow charger, though the device supports fast charging. And also no 3.5 mm headphone jack adapter. And another thing is that if we compare it with these uh, other iPhones, the bigger ones, and even the earlier iPhones like iPhone 7, iPhone 8, etc., uh, all had 3D touch functionality. The 3D touch functionality is removed with on this one. Apple tries to simulate that uh, with haptic touch and then quick toggles and stuff, it works, but uh, in some areas, I still find it missing. You might not use this too much, but yeah, that is also missing on the iPhone 10R. And lastly, I forgot about the biggest advantage of the iPhone XR. Uh, this is uh, in terms of battery life. This is the only iPhone I would say uh, that could last me for almost two full days without uh, putting on charge. So you can actually get two days worth of battery life on this one. So in terms of battery life, uh, this one is the best iPhone I have tested till date. So battery life is really, really good. Even if you're sort of a heavy user, it will give you about one to easily about one and a half days of uh, battery life. And for most users for about two days. So that's the biggest advantage I feel in terms of stamina. Uh, it's having a uh, higher stamina, even better than the iPhone 10s uh, Max. So that was the biggest Thing that I liked about this phone. Now, moving to uh, my conclusion about this phone. Overall, it's a very practical phone. As you can see, very good battery life. The screen size is good. Uh, yes, there are some cons. They don't go with a very high resolution screen and other stuff. But will this phone sell that much in India? And I think so. Uh, it might not sell that much in India, though it's actually way more practical uh, phone, I would say, uh, due to the pricing in India. The base variant of this one actually comes with 64 GB of uh, internal storage and that starts in India for almost 77,000 rupees. And that's actually pretty high in my frank opinion because at that price point, a user who's spending that much money might just want to spend a little bit more and go with these shiny new ones, the iPhone XS or the XS Max. The iPhone XS is now available. I was checking the prices in Flipkart is available for 95,000. And this one is available for 1,5,000. So person who's already spending this much, let's say 77,000 for the iPhone XR, he might just decide why not I spend a little bit more and get the flagship ones. So I feel, frankly, though this is a very practical phone, but due to the pricing in India, almost at 77,000, uh, I don't think so this is going to sell that well. I frankly feel Apple should have been aggressive in pricing this one. If only this was priced around, let's say, 60 or 65,000, this would have made a lot more sense because at that price at 77,000, many of the buyers, at least in India, uh, uh, will opt for the higher and 10s or the 10s max variant that's my frank opinion anyways guys that was my review for uh, the iphone 10r if you have any other questions regarding this iphone 10r do let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to answer them and guys if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys